Good morning everybody, cryptocurrency market guys, we're following up today with the NEO. We had a bit of a disappointment here to say, um, to put it lightly, when we've missed the target by a friction, a friction of a point. Take a look, it was so misfortune. That's how misfortune looks like. I mean, at the end of the day, we took a very nice profit, but guys, check this out. This is how tight it was, right? Highest high, 11.53. We had our, you know, we had our target right on that 11.57. Uh, when we saw price, of course, when we saw price closing the day where it was, where it did close the day, 10.9. Uh, you know, that was enough for us to uh, to close the, the position, basically just to get out. Now we are on the sideline, but here's the game plan, right? Since price missed 11.57, we are very suspicious that it's gonna come back to complete that move, to complete the mission, right? On the other hand, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, on the other hand, we have some strong indication that it's gonna continue to dig deeper because of what happened here with the 200 daily moving average, the dynamics we have with the 200 daily moving average. Let me describe, you know, this dynamic. Well, price came back strong, I mean, came down strong right a couple of days ago and it it was it was stopped completely in its place you know in, in its in its place uh by the 200 day moon average that completely blocked that negative momentum take a look at that spike here right but it did manage to break the next day right which was yesterday it even started um it, it started on the downside and then it went up so it was obviously flirting around with that moving average, but then it ended up ended up uh, negatively, right? Le leaving a spike from below, suggesting that the moving average was broken, and it's a uh, it's a pivotal point, it's a reliable pivotal pivotal you know pivotal point that we can you know can trust and work with. So it comes to the point where you know uh, we still think price is going to come back up and hit that eleven fifty seven from a wider perspective. But uh, from a short-term perspective, very short-term perspective, we can see that uh, the possibility for price pushing down, you know, a day or two, you know, just a couple of days more, maybe even hit 8.01, which is a huge level we talked about uh, before, right? That's the, well, 8.01 was the reason we got in the first place, right? When it was broken the first time, and then when it was retested the second time, uh, that you know these two elements here were the main reason we got in the first place so we we would like to cut to, to get back in only on the upside though right on the downside we do not have any conviction even though i was just describing the possibility for price coming down we're not going to use that to our advantage we're only going to use this bullish conviction if it's going to come you know come to fruition which means price needs to come back and cross back above the moving average once it does that we have a strong case we think we have a strong case that and, and we can try to chase that move back again to the same target we were hunting last time same target we missed right 1157 we might be able to catch that eventually i mean don't get me wrong uh i can i was complaining a little bit because it was just you know check i mean like i said just a fraction of a point, right? But at the end of the day, we've done really well here with the NEO. Let's see if we can replicate that success. But we'll be waiting for price to actually trigger itself by breaking back above the moving average. I hope that makes sense. That's about that for this one. We'll be back with the next video. Take care.